Falcha. Welcome to Folklore Friday and we are going to be having a look today at one of my favourite trees, the blackthorn. And I wanted to have a little look back through Ducas and just pick up some of the folklore around the blackthorn. And most of it is around the fairies and it is very much con connected to the she, the good neighbours, the good people, the fairies. So we're going to have one little cure story today and then two stories on the fairies okay so if you're new to the channel we do folklore every friday here and it's with myself laura ryan native irish three um we're looking at dukas.ie which is the um the national folklore collection and it's the digitized collection of the digitized website of the school's collection which is a project that was done in ireland many many decades ago so where people went out into the communities and collected the local folklore before it was gone. So I'm just going to share the screen here. And we're going to have a look. This one is from Maynooth in County Kildare and it's a cure for warts. Now, if you're a bit squeamish, just block your ears and go la 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 just for a few minutes. Because it says if you find a snail and you're to get a thorn of a black thorn bush to stick it in the snail and then crush the snail into the wart and leave the snail on the bush. So while the snail is dying away, the wart dies away. So presumably it takes a poor old shelicky bookie, as my granddad used to call them, poor old snail um, a long time to die away on that black thorn bush. Now, black thorn spikes have been used, black thorns, literally blackthorn thorns have been used in magic for a very, very long time. Uh, right back to a very old spell called the Glove Deacon, which is um, where you would get a, a little clay poppet and use blackthorn spikes to um, stick it through the clay doll that is made in somebody's image while cursing them. And the cursing was a very important part of it, the, as in the oral tradition uh, from the fillers or the bards. So that's a little bit off, off record, off, off script was what I meant. Anyway, we are going to look at, I think this one first, which is look at this beautiful handwriting. So you can see these, um, these stories were collected in these ledgers and um, they are being transcribed up. But we're going to look at the fairy legends here. Because this one specifically mentions the blackthorn. So long ago, fairies were very common in Ireland. In this district, the fairies were seen around holly trees, blackthorn bushes, bends, and rocks. So features in the landscape were particularly associated with the she. In olden times, the people of this district believed in fairies and called them their good neighbours and the good folk which would be a sign of respect slash kind of fear that you wouldn't want to piss them off. And um, when they played tricks on the people, they were called mischievous elves. In the evenings, they always had a habit of coming around the houses for the loan of a bowl of meal. So a meal would be like porridge or cornmeal. Some people would say that they had none in order to get rid of the fairies. In the morning, when they would get up, they would find out that there'd been some mischief done to them during the night. So most people thought it better to give the fairies some meal no matter how little they had. Many's the time I heard a neighbour woman telling about a poor old woman who lived in this district who had no way of making a living. One evening, just before she lit her lamp, there came a wee old woman into her house with a green shawl around her shoulders and a red shawl around her head. And says so she, God bless all here and my good woman, could you lend me a bowl of meal? Oh, Cree, oh, oh my heart, says the woman. I have no more than a bowl of meal inside the walls of the house, but I will divide it with you, for it is hard to see anyone hungry. So the wee woman took the meal and thanked her and said that your meal bin may never be empty. That night she was surprised to see more meal in the bin. The bin is a wooden vessel used for holding, holding meal about three feet high and two feet square at bottom. That was in it before she gave the wee woman any. From that time on, she never was wanting meal, so she began to think that the wee woman was a fairy. She told a neighbour woman about the good turn the fairy did her, and when she told her secret, she never got any meal afterwards. And that story has obviously made it into the folklore, but is actually a kind of a, 
it's a it's a common pattern i suppose to a story from much longer ago where maybe like the the sovereignty goddess would be asking you for or you know a deity in disguise would be asking you for a share of something and if you gave it you got a blessing and if you didn't give it you got a curse and that's what's playing out here with the fairy legends so that one is from County Donegal um, I will put links to all of these in the description below as well as other kind of useful stuff so do go down there and have a look through them so this one is the fairy's haunt i believe yeah and this one specifically mentions the blackthorn again so near the place where i now reside there was a rock hollowed out as if by hand in which the fairies accompanied by the owner of the land cooked their porridge the milk being supplied by the latter her cows it is said always gave plenty of milk some of the people were not kind to them it is said that their cows did not give any milk until this day few people will cut the blackthorn bush about which they played. Many people liked the fairies because they often saved them work, but others disliked them for they brought them trouble. According to legend, the fairies were angels who did not take part in the battle between God and Lucifer. That would be a common um, belief about the fairies uh, when, it, it, when it went into... Um, you know, Christian times, it was very common to believe that the fairies were these kind of angels who had been banished to earth because they refused to take sides and they weren't wanted in heaven or hell. So, but of course, the people of the mounds or the she are much older than that. And originally they were thought to be the two of the Danon. The two of the Danon went into the mounds and became the she. And there is very strong connection between the other worlds and the fairies. So the fairies are probably not like nature spirits as we would know them. And the associations with the blackthorn or with bends in rivers and rocks and that kind of thing would be very much in the native tradition would be very much seen as crossing places. So it wasn't that the fairies were spirits of these things or these places it was that the fairies were able to cross from the other world to this world you know or use these places as kind of conduits basically okay so i do have other videos on the other world and on fairies and on all sorts of other stuff so please like and subscribe and um, that one was from drummer in donegal as well so we had two from donegal and I will be talking a little bit more on native trees this month. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them and make sure that they are taken care of. Okay. So unless you're being a dick, because then they just get deleted and you get banned from the channel. And that's that, because I get a lot of that on my channel. A lot of people don't like what I'm saying and uh, feel very threatened by me. So um, that's happening. But if you do like what I'm saying and you don't feel threatened by me, and you are in fact uh, thankful to have an authentic connection to Ireland, then please do like and subscribe and go over to my website, which is lauraobrien.ie, there's links below, join the mailing list community and you will get much more like this. Okay, it's long before.